Welcome back to Link's Awakening for the first episode. I fucked up, and halfway through the first episode, I stopped recording, so we're starting again. Bueno will probably fuck you up. He's looking at. Alright, so I, I struggled on. You're probably gonna struggle with Slime Eye. <laughs> so, Evil Eagle is just kind of difficult. And then the final boss. Oh, you're gonna be so fucked! <laughs> One of the final bosses' faces is Moldor! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's making fun of me. <laughs> oh, I fucking love Hard Hit Beetle. I don't remember what we named him, but he's Splorf now. It might have been Splorf. It could have been Splorf. Why didn't you just play up to the point where we stopped recording? Because I'm not stitching the two videos together. You could have just done another episode. Up to that point was only like 12 minutes. It'll be fine. I mean, we have all day. What a relief! We're probably gonna suck at slime meal. Probably. Um, how I thought you'd you never wake up! 2D sections in this game. Uh, I'm alright. Okay. Because two of the bosses are fought in 2D. Oh, that's fun. One of them. I thought you'd the never boss. wake up! You were tossing and turning! What? Zelda? No, my name's Marin! You must still be feeling a little woozy. You're in Colent Island. Well, Splorf, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Taran. Hope you're feeling. I uh, hope you're feeling better. Get out of my house. What? How did I know what your name was? You think that's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on your under. I mean, your shield. <laughs> Get out of my, my underwear, house. bit. <laughs> the first recording, it was like, "How did I know your name?" Well, sewn into your underwear. I mean, your shield. <laughs> 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 so fun fact the store in this game you can steal from it but no, then but then don't. it kills you yeah because then you can never buy anything from it again and it also permanent if you go back in there it'll Please. kill you and it'll permanently change your title to thief <laughs> <laughs> and then you just can't buy anything from him and he sells bombs he sells the shovel apples uh he One sells green yeah uh it just heals more health oh um because green apples are better fight me in the comments <laughs> Green apples are the only good ones for eating. Don't bake with green apples. You're not supposed to. <laughs> oh man, I hope you're ready for this again. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you gonna get like all the hearts and shit? I'll get all the ones I can. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were waiting for a snarky remark to not getting all the hearts. So you are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Mm. Have you ever seen a of the Dark I'm gonna, Crystal? <laughs> I'm gonna be upset with you. Why? Because it was a good bit. It's a good bit. I'm just not doing it there because I can't get it to work properly. I'll do it when I when it'll fit naturally. Okay. I mean, it fit a lot. Also, I liked the bit of you, like, just talking and struggling, and then I just, like, lean over and just open a can of soda into the mic. <laughs> <laughs> what I need to do is I saw a fucking a YouTuber do a bit at one point where it was, like, every time someone donated, he would open up another can of Sprite. <laughs> did he eat... Did he... No. Did he eat the cans? No. He started to, but then people started doing it, and he wasn't backing down. Uh, and he said he had to stop when his girlfriend came in and yelled at him. <laughs> just opening cans and For wasting them. them. Yeah. Because he doesn't really drink them, she does. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And at first I'm like, dude, you have to have the soundboarded. But then he like started doing it in specific ways that let them know that it wasn't soundboarded. <laughs> no, I think he took a picture and sent it through Discord of like 17 of them on his desk. <laughs> I need to restock my fridge. I just did that this week. And now I'm poor. Also, the meat I bad has already gone bad. Well, I mean, I haven't restocked my fridge because I'm poor. And also the cheese. And also, I've been playing a lot of Fallout 4, which, I mean, can't be, and I'll read it in a minute, Yeah. which can't be an excuse because I've been playing Fallout 4 for three days and I'm already, like, level 23, which, like, doesn't sound like a lot, but it's really hard to get levels in that game because, obviously, it's not the same amount of XP per level, and it's more and more. Oh, brave, brave lad, you're on your quest to wake the windfish, dreamers! Welcome to the mystery forest! Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted Kohudlint Island. I'm afraid you may find it a trife. Difficult to leave island while windfish naps. I think I just had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, have you ever visited the Tail Cave? Probably not, because you just got here. Which is south of the village. The village of, of the, the windfish. Wind <laughs> Go there with the key you find in the forest. Of the of windfish. The wind fish. And since I said this last time, but you didn't, uh, the, the recording got corrupted somehow. I, in a past life, was your father, your, yep, I was your father. <laughs> Father-in-law, technically. Girlfriend's father. Yes, that one. I think I did actually have a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm gone, man. <laughs> Call the doctor. <laughs> you played Resident Evil 3 for, like. I didn't. I played 2 for, like. I'm we played Resident shit. Evil 2 for, like, maybe an hour and a half in my brain shop. <laughs> Get him while he's down! Which is weird, because my brain was working perfectly fine for playing Resident Evil except for that one section. <laughs> Don't worry. You were distracted by Ada Wong. <laughs> Alright, so there's this comedian I keep getting clips of on YouTube. Uh, one of his bits is like, you guys think the shit I say is fucked up? Think of the shit I don't say. <laughs> Not that it was fucked up, but my head was just like, oh, you should call her Ada Wang the way she takes it. <laughs> that is what my brain just did. <laughs> if you're careful, you can walk across the corner. I did hear that's a complaint of th that this game got, is that it only has eight directional inputs. Yeah. Which, granted, I didn't realize it did until <laughs> after. <laughs> Um, until we were, mm. until, like, it was pointed out. Um, Echoes of Wisdom. I love it. Don't get me wrong. The more it goes on, the more tedious it gets. Yeah. But it is fun. Horses are useless and stupid. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. The fact that you need to spawn an Echo to summon the horse is stupid. I mean, you always have the horse. If you have some of Yes, but you need to do a side quest for it. Because mm, otherwise, you just have to go to the farm and, uh, like, rent a horse. Or take a horse, or whatever the fuck it is. Well, if you do a side quest, you get a horse. Yeah. Um, but you need to do the carrot spawn. But the thing is, on the side, it has the up, down, left, right that, like, Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom have. But it, it shows the down button, but it, you can't get down. You can only go up. <laughs> it's fucking weird. Um, it shows the down button on the screen the whole time. The down button doesn't do anything in that game. And neither do most of the shoulder buttons, if I remember correctly. Hmm, that's wild. Like, I think the uh, right, the left shoulder button, I don't think it does anything. Guard Acorn. Which, like, the down button... It should have just been the wh like a whistle to summon your horse, because then I'd actually use the fucking horse. Because you can only have like fucking one echo equipped at a time. <laughs> it might be two, I don't remember. Um, sword fighter mode is good and I like it. That's when you become Link. Right? Yeah, but I wish like the left and right is because while doing that you can unlock uh, bombs and bow in it. I wish 
there was like a bomb fighter mode and a bow fighter mode. That was the left and right instead of it just being up and then you have to use all of them. Gotcha. Because then it's like you're not going to really use like the ah, bow and bomb. It was a sleepy toadstool. Um, it has a sleepy toadstool, does it? Well, we'll mix some stroke. I'm old. I wonder if this is supposed to be a kind of witch whose name was Maple. She splashed some on me. I feel gross. It's already! It's already! I'm not voicing the witch. Fuck you. Eat my ass. Don't worry, we'll never come here again. That's not true. I think there's a... Once you get the certain thing, I think there's a... Uh, there's a sh seashell in here. Oh. Good job! Use it on your enemies and see what happens! If you run out, go to the forest, pick some toadstools, and I will make you more. Come back without a toadstool, and you may have to pay a price for my leftovers. Pay a price for my leftovers. But I'm a... But I'm... Um... Echoes of Wisdom, it was a really good game. Yeah. But... It... Needed a better way to cycle through the your um echoes they needed to be like grouped under different pages and not just like in an order yeah and when you got a better version of an echo it should have replaced the previous one but i'm uh like what a fucking sniper. um i do like the outfits in the game right some of them you need amiibo for but the ones you need uh, to be for are just like different colors. The last like thing I outfits. <laughs> the last thing I can remember was biting into a big juicy toadstool. Then I had the darndest dream. I was a raccoon. Yeah, sounds strange, but it sure was fun. Prick. Um, but the game is good. I did very much enjoy it. Yeah. It play-wise was decently nice, oh. but it just needed. Like a horse whistle instead mm -hmm. of the carrot echo. Yeah. Because then the horse would actually be fucking useful. And it needed a better way to switch between yeah. echoes. Uh, take the key and go to the tail cave, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there from the windfish. The windfish is waiting, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's like, if you scan a Ganondorf amiibo, you get a black cat outfit, which there's a normal cat outfit in the game. If you scan a Zelda amiibo, it gives you, um, Zelda's, like, dress, but in blue. Okay. And if you scan a Link amiibo, it gives you the red mail. Because through side quests, you can already unlock the green mail. Oh, okay. Uh, and the accessories are quite nice. They are useful. Um, it's just the longer you play it, it just gets more and more tedious. And then later in the game, there's like, to solve puzzles, you need one specific fucking thing. And it's like, I almost got fucking soft locked somewhere because I didn't have an <laughs> echo. Yeah, but soft lock. You just have to go find. You have to just restart your save. They were a little. Too ambitious. They should have pulled back slightly. I like the music in this game. It's very yeah. good. Like, there was... Like, the only decent way to actually do echoes is to pull up a straight line at them and go through it. Yeah. By the end of the game, I had, like, 200 echoes. Could you imagine trying to find a fucking echo in that? Yeah, they and did And you can only they, have, like, one or two equipped They at did a time. the same thing in Tears of the Kingdom with what you can, like, fuse with. Yes. It's that. But for echoes. Yes. And I you, didn't I didn't like that part. And its sorting system is not good. Yeah. Um oh yeah, I was looking up what to the secret shell rewards were. Um okay, so there's a total of fifty uh, seashells in this game. Yeah. Uh collecting five, fifteen, thirty, forty, and fifty gives you a reward. I'm gonna go I through. Got a key. Uh the five shell reward is useful. Uh the fifty shell reward is useful. 30 so reward is not that useful. I got a thing. Uh, 40 is very useful. 
and 50 is, I guess it could be useful. Let me leave. I would say two of the rewards are chamber stones, right. which are used for Dampe. One of them is just like a room, but the other one, the last one, is an effect you can give that it just makes it rain rupees. So, like, it's good for getting money. I'm not good. Last, in the last recording that I fucked up, I uh, went all the way around instead of going through here. Which was silly. And then he called me out for it. And then I tried to do a bit, but he already called me out for it. I was lucky. Wow, I just got super lucky with that. I'm not doing that puzzle again. <laughs> I was like a good solid five oh, minutes yeah, no, at no, that no. puzzle. You, and now, now that, that I know what that puzzle is, I ain't doing it. Mm -hmm. We're not even going to uh, go into the room with that puzzle. You, you know what's weird about Zelda games? Because I actually beat um, Spirit Tracks officially now. Right. Um, first of all, fuck the instrument in that game. You need to push it. Up. Down. No, to the left. Make the end. Or just in general, okay, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, um, uh, I beat it officially, uh, fuck the instrument in that game so hard. It took me, like, 30 minutes to do the final phase of the last boss. Not because it was difficult, but because I couldn't get the fucking instrument to work. <laughs> And, like, by the time I got up to work, I was, like, ready for it just to be like, now just fucking kill me already. Yeah, um, yeah, that game the is overall better than Phantom Hourglass. Right. But <laughs> some of the shit it does is so fucking just unforgivingly there. evil. <laughs> like, play excluding playing the instrument... There are Ow. train enemies on the tracks. So you're locked into a specific movement pattern, which I do like more because it's easier to travel, basically. Because, like, you can't just, like, go wherever you want. It doesn't glitch out. It's just one solid track. Right. There are train enemies on it. You can't destroy them. Right. You can break them and slow them down, but... And it's designed so that, like, you're never really able to get cornered by them. But for the most part, they move faster than you. And it sucks, because if you touch them once, you get a game over. Right. And you can't destroy them. So if one's coming at you from the front, and you don't destroy it in time to slow it down, you don't move that fast reversing. So, like, sometimes you're just fucked. Uh, there's a, granted, an optional boss in the game. Uh, it's the third iteration of that boss. So unforgiving. Oh. Uh, but I'm a. Uh, what I found weird is, in the last dungeon of the game, you get three items. Which is so fucking weird to me. Because what Zelda game gives you more than one dungeon item? All of them? No, I mean, like, actual dungeon items, not, like, keys and things. Like, mm, how you dungeon. came here, you got the rock feather. It gives you three of those items. <laughs> oh. Because you go there to get... I mean, technically, you go there for more than one thing. But it's like, you go there to get... Um... The rail map that leads to the Dark Realm. Right. And the uh, Bow of Light. And the Bow of Light is just, like, the dungeon item of that game, and then the rail map is, like, what you're going to the dungeon to get. Right. Um, like, it's the equivalent of getting the instruments in this game. Uh, but also, like, right, I don't remember if it was right before or right after the dungeon, you get the, uh, Locomo Sword. So, that dungeon is tied between three things. Also, I like the Ocean Temple. I don't know what your opinion on it was, but both me and Jake love the Ocean Temple. Everyone fucking hates the Ocean Temple. Um, Spirit Track's version of it is better. Because it's not, you don't have to go through all the previous floors to do it. 
it literally is a staircase and it leads to each section of it. So, you could literally just skip. And also, you're not on a time limit, but I like the time limit aspect. Um, and the fight with Malibus was fun. Uh, the, you collect rabbits in that game, that's decently fun. There's two swordsman scrolls, one of them gives you the beam, and you get that for collecting all 50 rabbits, and the other one gives you the uh, great spin. Um, depending on how you play games, rolling in that game is better, because in Phantom Hour last you had to do, draw little circles to spin. Well, in that game, you just have to double tap and you'll spin. <laughs> um, that game has more than one shield, which is nice. Yeah. Because uh, it gives you the wooden shield, which is wooden shield. And then it gives you the shield of antiquity, which was the shield from Phantom Hourglass. Same shield. Oh, with the only difference is that one can be eaten by like legs. So, like, it has more than one shield, which is nice, because... Phantom Hourglass just had the wooden shield and it was kind of fucking stupid. Right. Because I just called the shield. Or like, fuck, give you the Hylian shield or the mirror shield even. Um, They both have two swords, but getting the Locomo sword compared to getting the Phantom sword, it's like, you're just given the Locomo sword. Right. Which granted, not... It's nowhere near as powerful as the Phantom Sword. Yeah. Because the Locomo Sword can only stun phantoms. Right. Which is the equivalent of, because going through it, you have to stun phantoms, because Zelda possesses them, and you can pull her through them to solve puzzles. Right. Um, you have to collect Tears of Light on the uh, floors in the Spirit Temple Tower. Right. And then that powers up your sword to stun them. The Locomo Sword just has that automatically. Right. Okay. Wow, the Phantom Sword's like, you know, you gotta go through the dungeons and build it. And then, like, you know, it's a sword that kills phantoms. Right. So, like, not as climactic. Swamp. There's less train parts, which is nice. Uh-huh. Because instead of there being eight, there's only four cars and there's only four parts per train. Right. You don't have to randomly get them. They're all for sale. Um, the, the first, first item in the, the game, game is called the Whirlwind. Whirlwind. It's a fan. Right. Uh, to, to use it, you have, have to blow into Mike. Mike. Fuck, Fuck that, that shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is an, an instrument, instrument of the, of the sirens. sirens. That is an instrument of the windfish. I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real, much like the windfish. <laughs> That instrument, along with the seven others in the set, is the power to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you these directions, instructed by the windfish. Your next goal is north in Gapong the Swamp. Windfish. Um. Bye, bitch! <laughs> the upgraded bow is because your bow of light replaces your bow, and it's you hold the arrow to charge it. That's nice. Good job. Um, oh man. Well, that took way less time than it did the first time. That's not green anymore. Yeah, no, it's green. Hey, buddy! It's serious! Yeah! Re what? Are you not gonna do the other child? No. They're twins. They have the same voice. Yeah! It is! The <laughs> Moblins came to the village! Yeah! That's right! A whole gang of Moblins! Then... <laughs> it's for real! We're having a stroke! Yeah! That house! When did they... They're incoherent. They they're, went to the MILF's the house they and stole her dog! <laughs> Not the MILF. Um... It's a chicken. Well, I mean, she fucking kisses you after you return the dog, so like... Wah, 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 wah. Um, also, I'm going to stand by... Not the only dog she's That having. game, uh, Spirit Tracks, has the second best Zelda Link relationship. Right. 
Which, I'm gonna piss off people here. The best is uh, Breath of the Wild and Twilight Princess. Not Twilight Princess, uh, in Tears of the Kingdom. I'm having a stroke. Uh, <laughs> third would be Skyward Sword. Ow. Yeah. I don't like the sword and shield goblins. They're annoying. They're really fucking useful in, uh... Oh, yeah. Echoes of sure. Wisdom. <laughs> like, literally, the best... It's like, it doesn't do the most damage. But, like, the best overall combat echo in Echoes of Wisdom is, uh, Shield Moblin level 3. Or yeah. Sword Moblin level 3. Um, apparently there's Lionels in that game. I've only encountered one, and it was an echo in itself, so it didn't drop an echo. Right. And it was, like, in the last dungeon, I was like, there's fucking Lionels? <laughs> I was like, where the fuck are they? I filled out the, I filled out the whole map, and I did not encounter a single fucking Lionel. <laughs> hey, look, it's Moblins. Borblins. No, Moblins are the other ones. These are Borblins. Moblins. They are not. Oh, I'm about to. Fuck! Don't die. Oh, Lift up that rock! Oh, wait, you can't. Never mind. Continue. Yeah, dick. Thanks. Thanks for telling me what I'm supposed to do. When I get an item later. I don't remember if it's the second or third dungeon you get it. Did you complete the second dungeon? No, I just beat the first one. Well, you knew who the second dungeon boss was. Yeah, boss of the Eagles. Uh, yeah, thanks, Asa. <laughs> I don't remember. Have you done a trendy game? No. Trying to game sucks. <laughs> but only when you need to the item that's this on the fun. platform. Yeah, you're fine. This is gonna be fun. You must be an assassin sent by Madam Meow Meow to rescue the mutt. That's my ex-wife. <laughs> it's my ex-wife. That bitch sent you to get her dog back. But it's my dog! Could you pause the recording real quick? Because he's not the greatest. Alright, we're back. You came here to get me, but it is I who will get you. He's right. He's just walking on that one. Now get him. Oh, yeah. Spank him real hard with your sword. Fuck. <laughs> that dude, he's gonna fucking diddle you. This guy thinks he can outdo the fucking diddler himself. He's got a huge penis. You can see it fucking out of his gut. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Built yeah, like an ox. The fairy. I want What's the that fairy. fucking shit that's all coming out? What's the guy's name? Fucking diddle? Oh <laughs> <laughs> no, what the, What is that? What? <laughs> no, what? I need to look this up. I feel stupid. <laughs> you saved... You saved Bow Wow. What a fearsome beast. Alright, and because I'm uh, not stupid, I know exactly where I'm going. Thank you, Game Grumps. That Danny is a smart man. Oh my He's god, Diddler is an actual fucking word did... Diddy. That's it. P. Diddy. Um, <laughs> yes, I've heard about I, what P. Diddy has done. Really? Because I'm still not entirely sure what the fuck it was. <laughs> Every time I look, it's something it's different. It's a lot. Yeah, I know. I saw a fucking... A real, I'll do this after. <laughs> I saw a fucking meme video where it was like a fucking baby oil bottle. <laughs> that was a P. Diddy's house. <laughs> 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 That shit was funny. Um, <laughs> that is a fearsome looking animal you have there. Not as fearsome as the windfish. Do not forget, the next instrument is in Gupunga Swamp. Windfish away! Later, bitch! <laughs> Alright, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye!